Good evening. So, Sonur at night time. So I've just gone to the very disappointing Sindhu night market. Even worse than it was back four years ago when I came in December 2019. There's less stalls. There's a bit of food, but even some of the food stalls have closed. So the damn Rona virus has caused havoc all around the world, especially here in Bali. Could you imagine two and a half years with no income, no tourists, no income. So it's definitely picked up. So it's now August. Hello, puppy dog. Don't get that side. All right, two and a half years with no income. So, could you imagine? So, I'm just going to walk down the road. It's definitely picked up. It's in August 2022. I was last here in April 2022. Things have definitely picked up. I've been told that the last two months, June and July, it's been very, very busy dropped off a little bit but it's definitely busier than it was in April 2022 so I'm just going to walk back to a sports bar called Terras have a bintang so along the way I'll show you some of the restaurants I'll show you how busy it is Point out some of the exchange rates. Now I'm focused on Australian dollars because that's where I come from. 10375. Most places are pretty much the same, but you'll see there are variances, so you need to be looking out, compare the prices before you buy. So I saw a place on the beach this morning that was 9800. So a lot less than the current exchange rate. So you'll see this is the third place. 10375 for Australian dollars, 14890 for US dollars. station, Rostamina, park your bike here, get it filled up with gas, not your typical petrol station that you would find anywhere else, but TII, and this is Indonesia, all right, little bird, I'm not going to say anything, I'll just show you, it is busy as, Forecast 10 minutes ago and all those tables were full as well. So a little bird, coffee, cafe food. It is busy at night time. In the daytime there's nobody around Sunur. I think most people go out for day trips, relax in the hotels, go swimming in the beach. Okay, Jora, I was at the front of that. Hello boss. No thank you. So yeah, Kajora Villas. I'll show you a quick video of the picture. It was for sale. Just a massive beachfront villa. There is the glass house. An icon Bali. Again, I showed a video the other day walking down the front of the beachfront. This is a massive development. They're gonna have cinemas two beach clubs I think they're gonna have hotels they've got parking for 1100 cars 700 motorcycles they'll have a stack of restaurants but I have not seen any changes to this development since April things happen very slowly in Indonesia here's an example different exchange rate 9825 why would you go there when you can just walk 100 meters and get it for over 10,000 per dollar. So, okay, people having dinner at the front. Amazing.
to me a dive shop, Paddy. So I buy your scuba gear, organize a dive trip. Now the diving, there's no actual diving out the front of Sunur. So you either go across to Nusa Penida, which is about a 30 minute boat ride across the waters. Nusa Lemongan, again, 30 minutes across the water. Or you go up to Tulumban to the shipwreck. Or you go to Chandidasa. Or you go all the way up to Ahmed, which is probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours from here. But the diving is spectacular. I've dove a number of times in Bali. You see manta rays, you see mola mola, you see all sorts of crazy stuff under the sea. But you've got to travel. There's the closest dive sites from Sanua is about 30 minutes. Up to Chandidasa is probably an hour and a half. Up to Ahmed, I would say probably two hours. But definitely worth the trip to get up there. I mentioned there's no scuba diving out the front of Sanua, but if you like snorkeling, there's some very cool snorkeling out the front of Sanua. So there's a reef about a couple hundred meters out from the beach. At low tide, you can walk out there and you can swim in probably one and a half, two meters of water. And there is some awesome stuff to see. So I've seen scorpion fish, I've seen stonefish, I've seen baby mora eels, all sorts of baby fish. Most of the tropical fish, when they're very, very young, they hide in the reefs close to shore get away from all the big animals so you can actually see some awesome stuff and you need to be careful you do not want to step on a stonefish or a scorpion fish kaputski ma day's bar and restaurant you can see a lot of the restaurants have got loads of people in there So it's coming up to 8 p.m. It's probably about 27 degrees. So very tropical weather. And this is winter time in Bali, August 2022. So it is winter. Technically, we are in winter. It's in the Southern Hemisphere. But it doesn't get cold. So I think Bali has two seasons, either the wet or the dry. It's usually anywhere between 30 to 36 degrees. And it either is dry or it is raining. And even in the wet season, it does not rain that much. It will rain overnight. It will have an afternoon shower that lasts about an hour. And then you can still get out, walk around for dinner. Yes, I am. All right, we are pretty much in the heart of Sonur, coming up to my favorite Japanese soya. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I love soya. It was closed during the pandemic. Here's another one, 9950. If you want to throw away money, you can exchange your money there. All right, my, my bar and restaurant. It's been there a squillion years. As I was saying, soya, my favorite Japanese. So I've got a separate video about the food at soya. Closed during the pandemic, two and a half years. It was closed in April. It obviously closed up, it opened up just recently. So it opened up just recently and I went for lunch there the other day and I'm going for dinner again tomorrow night so I will post a link to the video of the food in Soya great place to shop Uluwatu handmade Balinese lace there's a chain of these Uluwatu in Kuta, in Seminyak, in Ubud, here in Sanur I'm sure there's probably one in Nusadua Starbucks for expensive coffee All right, a few more restaurants, and I'm not far from my sports bar. You know, I said people come out. Mona Lisa, there's people eating in there.
the village Kuchina that was closed in April is back open really good pizza but I found a better place for pizza down in the southern area of Sonora there's a place called pizza and go really really good pizza they call it Roman style pizza but it's sort of like a focaccia base but it is nice and crispy very simple toppings I just had salami had a choice of beef or pork and I had the pork salami very very good all right wicked parrot that's the Irish bar see live music loads of people in there having dinner so I don't know where all these people go during the day so walk past there at midday and there was no one in there sadly Warung Pragina has not opened yet no lights no crispy duck for me there is the Swiss Bell Resort all lit up and I'm not far from Terras Sports Bar I'm a little bit thirsty Now, oh, Casablanca, I don't know, it is a Sunday night and Casablanca is closed. I think there was some sort of Hindu festival. So I think closed until... I don't know, it says 25th of July. But somebody told me they went there the other night that that place is normally packed in the evening. convenience store next door popular express the video I did I posted up today walked down tried to buy a case of beer they wanted to charge me over 70 Australian dollars for a case of bintang I could buy individual bottles for less than that crazy Indonesia all right retro kitchen came here for English breakfast today and right next door is the the Terras Retro Sports Bar. That's where I'm going to stop, have a bintang. <coughs> All right, quick walk through the streets of Sonor at night time. So it is bintang o'clock. Oh, happy travels, everyone. <laughs> 